Okay, so welcome back to the second video uh, on the introduction to conditional expectation. Uh, so, uh, we had just worked out that this was the survival function, i.e. this was the probability that x was going to be greater than or equal to x, given that x was greater than or equal to s. So we were conditioning on this event having happened. So we said, this event has now happened, we're taking events in here to be the, uh, to be events that, uh, you know, that, um, the event x, um, x to plus infinity, and we're asking what are the probability of each of these events, and that's going to be equal to this. So if we want to know the probability of the lower one, if we want to know the probability uh, that uh, x is less than or equal to x, well that's just going to equal 1 minus e to the negative lambda x minus s. So now if we want to go back to the PDF, the PDF for each value in here, all we have to do is differentiate this. So the PDF of our, uh, of our new uh, conditioned, our, our conditioned PDF, if you like, uh, is equal to the derivative of this. So the derivative of 1 is nothing. The derivative of this is going to be negative. Uh, the negative lambda is going to come down, so we'll get negative negative lambda e to the negative lambda of x minus s. So it's equal to lambda e to the negative lambda x minus s, which is what we would have guessed it to be. So uh, because of the memoryless property, uh, the PDF of uh, the value, uh, basically what this is saying is that the PDF of a value x s, s plus t, uh, given that x is greater than or equal to s, so uh, the PDF um, uh, is of, so if we say uh, f, let's get another piece of paper, so if we say uh, f bar of s plus t, uh, given, uh, well, what this means is the probability density function, given that s has happened, is going to be the same as the original probability density function evaluated at t, because if you look at f bar of x, it's going to be equal to uh, lambda e to the negative lambda x minus s. So if we put in s plus t into this, we're just going to get lambda e to the negative lambda of t, which is equal to f of t. Uh, so the PDF has sort of just shifted a bit. Okay, uh, so now if we want to work out the uh, expected value, uh, the expected value of our new random variable, condition, our conditioned expected value, so the expected value of x, uh, given that x is greater than or equal to s, uh, then it's going to be equal to the integral of x, uh, well, from s to plus infinity of x lambda e to the negative lambda of x minus s, our conditioned uh, probability density function, dx. And this is going to be equal to, um, well, we're going to uh, pull out that, well, actually, no, we'll, um, we're going to split this up firstly, so we'll split it up into s uh, to infinity. Uh, we'll have the lambda, uh, lambda uh, x e to the negative lambda of x, and then we'll split this out into times e to the s lambda uh, dx. Now, if we pull out the e to the s lambda over here and integrate between s and infinity, lambda x e to the negative lambda of x uh, dx. Okay, so what we can then do is uh, we can stick in a... Um, a uh, substitution, we can make a u substitution, so let u equal lambda of x, uh, we get that du is equal to lambda dx, uh, so if we plug this in, and if we put in, you know, uh, we're going to have to, uh, if we put in x is equal to infinity, this remains the same, if we put in uh, x is equal to s, u becomes lambda of s, uh, so we're going to have to stick that in, so we'll get e to the lambda of s, uh, and then we'll get uh, lambda s to infinity of u e to the negative u, uh, du. Okay, uh, so we've done this integral quite a few times, but we'll do it again. Uh, so by integration by parts, uh, the integral between lambda and s of infinity uh, to infinity u e to the negative u du, we're going to view this one as the one that we need to differentiate, and this one as the one we need to integrate. So uh, this is going to be u e to the negative u minus of that between uh, lambda s and infinity minus, uh, the minus from here will cancel, so it'll be minus uh, negative u e to the negative u, oh sorry, the u will be differentiated to make 1, uh, du uh, between lambda s and infinity. And this is going to be, if we evaluate it at infinity, the limit as n approaches infinity of this is 0. Basically the rate at which the exponential shrinks is going to dominate the uh, rate at which uh, this grows, uh, the linear term grows. So we're just going to get the, uh, n the uh, n the other term uh, corresponding to lambda of s. Uh, so we'll get minus negative u, uh, oh sorry, negative lambda of s e to the negative lambda of s. Uh, then we've got this plus 
uh, the integral from um, of e to the negative u uh, lambda of s to infinity uh, du. Okay, so we get lambda s e to the negative lambda of s uh, plus uh, the integral of this is uh, just by the second fundamental theorem of calculus. The antiderivative is e to the negative e to the negative u uh, evaluated between lambda and s and infinity. Uh, if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of this, uh, you get zero. Uh, so this again is just going to equal lambda s e to the negative lambda of s um, uh, minus minus e to the negative lambda of s. So you'll get another plus there. So you'll get lambda s uh, plus 1 times e to the negative lambda of s. Uh, so that gives you the conditional expected value of, um, of um, this um, random variable.